بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح Isa ibn Maryam will descend at Damascus. The white minor way through which he will pass on his descent still remains intact. He will be escorted by angels. Time does not permit us to go into this in greater detail, as I already revealed it in one of my teachings, entitled The Descent of Prophet Isa. When Prophet Isa descends to Damascus, Imam al-Mahdi at the age of 40 will start his mission. And as I used to say, Imam al-Mahdi is not a title that can be claimed freely. We often hear people claiming his mission. However, his mission is not to claim himself as the Mahdi, because it is a mission that must be proven, as Imam al-Mahdi will have to rule the Muslim world, both Arabs and non-Arabs, as the Prophet predicted. He will also rule the world as a whole. This shows that it is not a mission that is claimed, but that it must be proven through the mystical power that God will grant the true holder of the mission. This is what will enable him to dominate the whole world. This is how he will be recognized. At that time, when the majority of the Muslim world has pledged allegiance to him, Dajjal will come to sabotage his mission. Many people talk about Dajjal without knowing him, because he is a human, a powerful man, the prime minister of a country. He will also have powers and will say everywhere that everything Imam al-Mahdi says is unfounded, that he is an imposter, and that he too has a mystical power similar to that of Imam al-Mahdi, and that he will do everything to overturn all the work he has done. In fact, the Prophet said that through his power, Dajjal will be able to enter all the cities of the world except Mecca and Medina. At this time, Imam al-Mahdi will not go to war against Dajjal to kill him, because he knows that it is Prophet Isa ibn Maryam who will have to annihilate Dajjal. When Dajjal will try to bring this order to what Imam al-Mahdi has already done, and will put doubt in the minds of many Muslims to the point of having more than 70,000 Muslim followers, Isa ibn Maryam will come down to Damascus at the time of the prayer of Fajr and join Imam al-Mahdi to pray behind him. After the prayer, Prophet Isa will start pursuing Dajjal to Palestine in a village called Lod. It is at the entrance of the village that Dajjal will see Prophet Isa who will use the cane of Imam al-Mahdi and stab him. That's how Dajjal will evaporate, similar to putting ice under the sun and will explode. That will be his end. When Dajjal dies, Prophet Isa will join Imam al-Mahdi. These two characters will live together on earth for a period of seven years. Then Imam al-Mahdi will leave this world to join Barzakh, while Isa will live for two more years before leaving this world in turn. This will mark the beginning of the apocalypse. Thus, Prophet Isa will have nine years of mission on earth before he passes away. The mission of Imam al-Mahdi is therefore organized in such a way that it is clear for those gifted with reason. It is not a mission that one gives oneself when one is not the true owner of it. ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا